What does a country need to do to create more jobs? For a long time, rapid and sustained economic growth was considered essential for job creation. In fact, in 1962, this guy, Arthur Melvin Oaken, an economist at Yale University, made a statistical connection between changes in unemployment rates and economic growth. To many people, that also meant that higher growth would mean less unemployment. And this led governments and aid agencies to focus on increasing GDP as a way to get people to work. Which sounds good, but it doesn't always hold up. Like when a low-income country supports capital-intensive projects such as, say, an aluminum smelter plant or a chemical processing facility. Even if they are profitable, they won't necessarily create a lot of jobs. And even if they do create jobs, will they be good jobs? Jobs that have a benefit beyond income, that are good for society and good for sustained growth? In countries with a lot of educated young people out of work, even rapid growth might not create the right kinds of job opportunities. Recent history shows that growth doesn't guarantee social cohesion. Take Tunisia. For years, it had the highest GDP growth in the region, averaging almost 5% year over year. But there have been cases like South Korea's, where leaders focused on growth and jobs simultaneously, and growth and jobs both skyrocketed. So when is a growth policy not enough? When is a job strategy needed? What do you think? What does your country need to do to create jobs? Help find the solutions. Visit the Jobs Knowledge Platform, connect with us through social media, and share your thoughts in the Working Wiki.